Today we're going to read Planets by Elizabeth Carney. What's a planet? Circle, circle in the sky, you're bright enough to catch my eye. You're not a star, but a place where gas or rocks swirl in space. Space clues. Gas, something that has no shape or size of its own. Gas can spread out into the space around it. Star, a huge ball of hot gas that makes heat and light. Hello, planets. When you look up high in the night sky, you might see lots of bright lights. Most of these lights are stars. Most stars have planets moving around them. Planets are round objects that orbit a star. They don't create their own light. They only reflect light from stars. Space clues. Orbit. The path an object follows around another object, such as a star. Reflect. To bounce back. The sun. The sun is our star. Our planet Earth orbits the sun. The sun makes a lot of heat and light. Its surface is about 100 times hotter than a hot summer day. It's also very big. One million Earths could fit inside the sun. Our solar system. Our sun and Earth are part of what we call our solar system. There are eight big planets and five small dwarf planets in the solar system. Each planet orbits the sun. The strong pull of the sun's gravity holds the planets in place, which keeps them from floating away. Gravity is the same force that makes a baseball fall to the ground when you drop it. Space clues, gravity an invisible force that pulls objects toward a planet or star. The inner planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are in the hotter part of our solar system. These planets are the four closest to the sun. They are made of rock and metal. Your planet Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun. The planet we call home spins at just the right distance from the sun. It's far enough to not be too hot, yet close enough so it's not too cold. Here the conditions are just right for life. Beyond the rocky inner planets, there are four gas giants. They are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These huge planets are made of big clouds of gas and liquid. Gravity pulls the gas and liquid into a planet shape. All gas giants have rings. The rings are made of mostly ice and dust. Dwarf planets. Dwarf planets are planet-like objects that are part of our solar system. They are much smaller than regular planets. A dwarf planet can be round or egg-shaped. Unlike regular planets, dwarf planets may share their orbits with other space objects. Amazing planets. These planets are really out of this world. The weirdest spin, Uranus. This planet spins on its side, rolling like a barrel instead of a top. Windiest weather. Neptune. Winds on Neptune blow much faster than Earth's strongest hurricanes. Longest lasting storm. Jupiter. The great red spot is a hurricane on Jupiter. It has been blowing for more than 400 years. Hottest planet. Venus. This is the solar system's hottest planet, even though it's not the closest to the sun. A thick layer of gas around Venus makes it super hot. Tallest mountain, Mars. Mars is the home of the solar system's largest volcano, called Olympus Mons. 
It's as tall as three Mount Everest stacked up. Moons galore. Some planets like Earth have moons that travel with them. Moons are objects made of ice or rock that orbit a planet. Some planets have no moons. Some have many. Jupiter has more than 60. Saturn has a giant moon called Titan. It is one of the largest moons in the solar system. It is even bigger than the planet Mercury. Our moon. Earth has only one moon. It appears large and bright in the night sky. Astronauts first walked on the moon more than 40 years ago. They left footprints in the dirt. There is no weather on the moon to wash or blow them away. Those footprints are still there. Space clues. Weather. The changing conditions that can include temperature, rainfall, wind, and clouds. Exploring space. Scientists have many ways of studying planets. One is to visit them. Humans can't visit other planets yet, but we can send robots to explore them for us. Robots called rovers have been sent to Mars. The rovers carry cameras and tools. They can take photographs and videos too. The rovers send information back to Earth about what they see. There are other ways to learn about planets too. Powerful telescopes allow us to see planets and moons even though they are far away. Space probes also collect information about planets. These spacecraft take pictures. They measure light and temperature too. With these tools, scientists make exciting discoveries about other worlds. What will we learn next? Stump your parents. Can your parents answer these questions about planets? You might know more than they do. You can find the answers at the bottom of page 31.